Hi everybody, it's Kristen again. This is my second video. Um, got some news. I got an offer on my condo, which is good. Uh, that means, you know, step in the right direction. Uh, had the inspection, which scares me because that to me is just another way for the buyer to say, hey, I want you to give me a lot more money back from what I offered you so that I don't have to pay as much. But we'll see what happens. I haven't received the inspection yet from my realtor, but I'm sure that's coming soon. Oh, I'm telling you, I dread this. This is the part that I hate. The back and forth, the uh, worrying, you know, does somebody want me to, um, I don't know, tear down a wall because it doesn't look right before they'll buy it. I hate this stuff. Um, I guess maybe I was spoiled because the last time I sold my actual house, I sold it at my yard sale. <laughs> yes, somebody actually was at my yard sale and offered to buy my house. I mean, obviously it wasn't that easy. It would have been nice, but you know, but it was pretty simple. I didn't have to show it to anybody. I didn't have to sit here waiting for the time for me to leave the house so that they can come and walk through my house for like 15 minutes and then, you know, come back in the house after they're gone. It's just, if you've never been through this, it's so frustrating. Um, yeah, I never want to do it again. I want to, I want to sell this condo and move. Um, it's a great condo. I like it. Um, I don't love it because it's older and I like modern styles, but whatever. I mean, it's great. It's right by the lake. <laughs> um, but I'm ready to move, obviously. That's what I told you in the last one. So yeah, that's what's going on now. The waiting and dreading what is going to come from this inspection. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the condo. I've never had any issues. Um, but you know, they always find something. Um, on the other hand, <laughs> they are um, reciting this entire condo complex. So. Um, it's, it's begun, so by the time the person or whoever buys my condo, they'll have brand new siding, shutters, gutters, you know, all that good stuff, repainting in the carport, and, you know, so they'll be lucky, even though I have to pay for all that, um, you know, they'll be the ones to enjoy it, but I'm not bitter about that at all. Another thing, I can't wait to leave my job. I don't know if you've ever been in the position where, like, you give your notice and then you say, I'm going to be, you know, this is my last day. And then the buying of your condo doesn't go through. So you have to say, oh, can I stay? And they say, oh, we'll give you two more weeks. So then you're like, oh, I hope I can sell my condo. I hope I sell it. And, you know, I have a contract on it now. But now I'm like, I can't wait to get out of there. It's, it's strange. I mean, yeah, I don't know what I'll be doing once I move um, in with my dad. But you know what? I'm not worried about it. I have never been a person that didn't have a job or didn't know how to figure things out, you know, and make it right. So... I'm not worried about it. I don't think I'll have any issues. Plus, I have enough connections where I'm going that if I do need a job, you know, right away, which I know I won't, um, you know, I'll, I'll get one. So, eh, there's no worries there. Um, that's another thing. I, I realize that I have no worries about doing this. My only worry is packing a moving van and bringing it all. And then you know, having to change the date of the closing, you know, because the other person bailed out. Um, now it's not going to be as easy to 
get, you know, the moving truck due to, you know, the person who's going to help me, you know, has a job and, you know, I can't just expect them to quit, you know, what you're doing. I don't care if you're busy now, my life's more important. There's no way, um, you know, hey, if I have to do it all myself, I'll do it all myself. I don't mind. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at now with that. But I'm hoping, you know, it'll move along smoothly and I won't have any more bumps in the road and um, they'll just buy my condo so I can pack them leave. But anyway, so enough of that, enough of the condo crap selling and all that. Um, I have uh, put so much thought into what I want to do when I go to my dad's house as far as, you know, um, fixing it up, you know, I think, I don't know how long he's lived there, but it's been, I, I don't think I, I think I maybe, maybe I was three or something when I moved there, so, um, yeah, it's been a long time, and, uh, so, you know, they fixed it up, of course, but, you know, you get it to where you like it, and then you just leave it like that, and you never change it, and now, I want to change it. I want to, you know, I need to, I want to brighten it up. I want to give my dad a bright new place to, you know, feel, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I don't, I don't want him to live the same old life. Um, not that it wasn't a good life. He had a really good life. He still has a good life. But like I said, he has an illness now, um, and I think doing stuff, uh, having a lot going on around him is going to cheer him up and make him feel like he's got more going on now than just living alone on the hill. People who are from where I'm moving back to know what the hill is, and uh, I just can't, can't wait to start you know, building a new life there with my dad. And I can't wait for snow. I really can't. Um, I live in Tennessee right now. It is still way too hot for me. Everybody who lives here is like, oh, it's cold. You know, it's getting cold. Yay. I'm still sweating. I don't know. I mean, I'm sweating right now. Um, so I can't wait for cold weather. <laughs> I really can't. Um, I don't own a jacket, so, you know, that, that just goes to show, you know, they do have snow in Tennessee, but I, the most I've ever worn here is a sweatshirt, you know, put on a hoodie and, you know, I'm good, but other than that, it's not uh, something I've thought about, so now I have to think about it, you know, I can't wear flip-flops all winter in, uh, in Massachusetts where I'm moving, where here in Tennessee, I have worn flip-flops all winter. It, it's not cold to me. <laughs> people think I'm crazy, but I don't know, maybe other um, northern people who've moved um, to the, I don't want to say this is the south, but maybe it is. Um, maybe you understand what I'm talking about. I'm never cold, never. So I look forward to a really cold winter, but Something I'm dreading is that my dad is always cold, so I know I'm going to have to have the heat up for him, and I'm going to be melting. I can see it now. It'll be the dead of winter. The heat will be on. I'll be in my room with my windows open. Just go, oh, it's too hot in here. It's too hot in here. <laughs> but I don't know. Maybe I won't be. I don't know. But we'll see. I, uh, I don't have much else going on right now. Um, these videos are not going to be that interesting, I don't think, or long, thank God, right? Um, until I'm back in my dad's house and, and things start happening. I do want to, you know, take some videos of the drive there and, you know, that's probably not going to be interesting either, but eh, you never know. It'll be the first time traveling with my two cats that have never gone on a car ride other than coming home from the, you know, animal shelter where I got them. So 
that ought to be interesting. I think I'm probably going to hear a lot of meowing on the way down, but we'll see. Anyway, guys, um, thanks for watching. If you're watching, I hope you're watching. Um, I really would like this channel to go somewhere because I have a lot of ideas. I also, um, I have some uh, cousins that I want to kind of bring into the channel. Um, they don't know it yet. Um, I want to help them out. I'll, I'll leave that for another story. Um, I think that'll be fun if I can help them. And anyway, and if if social media helps them, I want I want to be there and, and be part of it for them. And uh, you know, we'll see we'll see how that happens. Um, I hope it pans out. But I think I may move me on to something here. I hope so. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks again for stopping in, um, and I will uh, talk to you next week. Bye.